Hi everybody, it's Miss Broad and today we are learning to identify and represent numbers using objects. So if we look on my piece of paper, I have got a tens rod. We know this is a tens rod because it is made up of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 squares. So when we see this, we know straight away that there are 10 in this rod. This is called a 1 because there is just one square. So you might see lots of these separately, but each one is worth one. So if we look at this one here, we have got one ten and another ten. So one and one is two. So we know this number has two tens. How many ones does it have? one, two, three. So this has two tens and three ones, which makes the number 23. Make sure you always put the tens first and then the ones. So here I have drawn some pictures to represent the numbers. So we have got a tens rod, which when we do it in our part, part hole is going to look like a stick. And a one, which when we put it into our part, part hole is going to look like a circle. So I can see straight away that this has one ten. So I'm going to put one line, one ten, and it has one one. So I'm going to draw a circle. So I know that there is one ten and there is one one and that makes the number eleven. Let's look at a more complicated one together. So here I have the number 52. How many tens are in 52? So the first thing you need to do is look carefully at the tens. Straight away I can see that there are five. So remember we're representing the number with an object. So we're going to draw one, two, three, four, five rods because there are five lots of ten. How many ones are there? Two. So in here, I'm going to represent the number using objects. So straight away, I can see that there are five tens in the number 52, and there are two ones in the number 52. Let's do this one together, number 47. So remember, part, part, holes, all the roads always lead to the hole. So make sure you're looking at the right space. So this is number 47. So first of all, let's look at how many tens are in 47. There are four. So we come down here and we're going to represent the four tens as four rods, like that. We have seven ones. So remember we're using a circle to represent the ones. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, Seven. So we have represented 47 using tens rods and ones. Let's do this one together. So we have number 38. How many tens does 38 have? Remember it's always the first number. So it's this one here. So we're going to come down here. I'm going to represent it using our lines. So there are three tens and eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we can also challenge ourselves to do it this way. So you can get a grown up to draw the rods and ones for you, and then you have to work it out. So let's have a look at this one together. So let's count how many rods we've got. One, two, three, four. So there are four tens and one, two, three, four, five ones. So we've made the number 
45. Let's have a look at this one. So count the rods first, always count the tens first. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six tens. One, two, three, and three ones. Let's have a look at this one. We've got one, two, three, four, five tens and one, two ones. As your grown up to make some for you, to challenge you, you could either do them this way where your grown up draws the rods and the ones, or you can ask your grown up to write the number and then you can do the rods and ones. I look forward to hearing how you get on. Have lots of fun. Bye for now.